I'm in love with places I have never been to and people I've never met. Anonymous. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Woodhouse, and just so you know, I recorded the rest of this earlier, but I didn't want to record an intro talking to you guys when George was around. He doesn't know this is all online, and I prefer to keep it that way. I kind of chopped up our conversation a little bit, just because we tend to talk for forever, but I tried to leave in the bits that I thought were most relevant to our past episodes. Isn't it better to actually mean to be in a video instead of just coming in on it partway through? I wouldn't know yet, would I? The last time you came when I was making an entry, do you remember what we were talking about? Mm, you mean about the fact that you were admitting that you shouldn't have meddled quite so much with Harriet? Um, yeah. Can I assume you've discovered it didn't work so well? What makes you say that? Well, for one, you're acting like you've made it a mistake and you're embarrassed about it. Sometimes I wish you weren't quite so perceptive. I guess I might have made a mistake. Just a bit. You guess? Yeah. You know how you'd mention that I might be thinking of a certain person to match Harriet with? Yes. Well... You were right about him. I didn't read him very well, and you did. You saw how shallow he is, and I didn't. Happy? I'm proud of you for admitting you were wrong. To be completely fair, Harriet wouldn't have been a bad choice for him to date. She seems nice. But I don't think he would have been good for Harriet. Though he's generally thought to be a great guy, he's a jerk face. How so? Forget it. Did you hear that Frank said he's going to be visiting soon? I hear that pretty regularly. Well... Miss Bates said that it's almost 100% sure that he's going to visit this weekend. At least she sometimes gives interesting information. Emma, I keep telling you you should be nicer to her. She doesn't have very many friends, and it wouldn't hurt for you to talk to her. You mean listen to her? Emma, it's not like she calls every day. Anymore. <laughs> She's got used to her new phone. Well, I guess it's not as bad. But she still calls me practically every other day. I think I'll eventually be in an asylum rambling to my padded walls, and she'll be the reason. That, or it'll be Jane's fault. Isn't Jane coming back from Europe? Yes, she's expected back in a couple of days, so I've only heard about it a couple thousand times. You know, I have yet to find anything that Jane is not good at. Maybe she's not good at annoying people with cameras when they come to visit her. <laughs> Emma, no, no. She does not need to be helping you with this project. But it's a good idea. I need someone who is very different from myself to help me with it. Emma. No, my mind is made up. I'm going to find a way to convince Jane Fairfax to help me with my project. And that is a promise, you guys. I will do my best to get Jane Fairfax to help me with one of my videos. And maybe we can get her to talk about Frank Churchill, since she supposedly knows him. That'll be way more exciting than talking to George. I'd love to hear any ideas you guys might have about ways I can get Jane involved. Leave those in the comments below. Also, leave any questions you might have for my Q&A episode. And remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and have a lovely day. Bye!